Hello again, I'm Matthew from TheWetPen.com, and I thought I'd take this little interlude in my Japanese ink series to show you a couple of things that have come in the mail recently. If you're a fan of Chris Rapp's videos, then you may already be familiar with this pen holder, but for the rest of you, this sculpted rattlesnake pen holder was sent to me by Coppertist.Wu, and it's a work of art. Now, I know that this is not for everyone. If you don't like snakes, you can just skip ahead here. But I think that just about every living creature is beautiful, including snakes. And the detail and form of this snake is pretty amazing. I've run across quite a few real rattlesnakes in my life, like this big one that was sunning itself on a dirt road near Boulder, Colorado, and these little dusky pygmy rattlesnakes that I used to run across all the time when I lived in Florida. So I can say with some confidence that this really does look like a real rattlesnake. The snake body is solid brass with thousands of individually sculpted scales. The contrasting rattle is formed out of 925 pure silver. And the tiny eyes are inlaid zircon. And they didn't cut corners. Even the underside is nicely sculpted. And you can see here, there's a copper badge with the company name on it. Coppertist.Wu. But of course it's not just a piece of art, it's also functional as a pen rest, which is wonderful for all of my clipless pens, which otherwise tend to roll around on my not quite level desk. So, if you like snakes, I've put a link down below and a code so that you can get 15% off, although I think there's already a site-wide sale at the moment. But the pen I wanted to show you today does have a clip. And it's another handmade pen, this time from the Indian company Del Moon. This is a new brand of pens founded just two years ago in 2021 in New Delhi, India, as the house brand of a big pen store called Pens Point. The name Del Moon refers to the moon over Delhi. This particular pen is a gentle white marble fountain pen, and it seems that I got the last one. They're sold out now, but they have plenty of other pens in stock. The pen comes in a nice box with a mirrored logo on the top, and there was also a polishing cloth and warranty card inside. Along with the pen, Del Moon sent me this little pocket notebook with India Gate printed on the front, and a nice green brocade pen sleeve. I bought this pen mostly out of simple curiosity about the brand, but now that I'm more familiar with them, I've added a couple of their more expensive pens to my list. But I'll start here. This white marble acrylic looks really nice. It's a very pearlescent one with darker spots that look a little bit like abalone. Very pretty. The clip has a roller on the end, which I think of as an Italian style thing, although I guess it's pretty ubiquitous, but I really like roller clips. As you can see, this is a medium large sized cigar shaped pen. It's slightly larger than a Jinhao X159, but a little bit smaller than this Opus 88 Omar. The cap comes off in just over one turn. It's about one and a quarter, which is about perfect to me. And with the cap off, you can see the Yovo nib that has been engraved with the Del Moon logo, and it says India. If I rotate this around, you can see the standard Yovo feed on the opposite side. Even though the pen is on the large side of medium, the grip section is very average and perfectly comfortable with a modest concave shape. The cap does post on this pen, but it's not a very deep and secure post, and it would be pretty uncomfortable to write with it this way. But it's definitely a big enough pen to be comfortable writing unposted. The section unscrews from the pen body in about five turns, and you can see that there's a cartridge converter inside. Nothing unusual there. 
I bought this pen with a medium nib, and this is a Yovo nib rather than a Canrite. And it gives you the quality that you'd expect from a well-polished Yovo nib. Let me show you how this one writes. The nib is really nice and smooth, and the ink flow is good. Very typical for a good Yovo. This ink is the blue-gray Sailor Lumpfish from Kingdom Note that I mentioned a couple of videos ago. So it's comfortable, it writes well, it looks nice, and it's not too expensive. All positives. And all in all, I really like this pen, but there are a couple of things about this that I would consider to be problems. First of all, this is the Del Moon logo on the cap below the clip. I really like that they have added the logo, and I like the fact that the color matches the rest of the pen so nicely, but it does look like the finish is a little bit sloppy. I think they put a drop of sealant over the top of the logo, but then didn't polish it smoothly. Not a big deal, and it's hard to see if it's not magnified, but it's there. The bigger issue is the clip. While I do like roller clips, this clip overall feels too light and flimsy. It bends very easily, and you might be able to see that it's already a little bit sprung, which is how it arrived. This would be a better pen with a sturdier clip. Neither of those were big enough issues to keep me from ordering another pen from Del Moon, which I will show you sometime in the next couple of months. Anyway, if you're interested in the Coppertist Rattlesnake, I've added a link to the description below, and I've also added a link to the Del Moon website if you want to check them out. Although, you can't actually order directly from their website, you have to email them to arrange payment with PayPal or that sort of thing. I'm going to get back to my Japanese ink videos now, but I will have two more pen videos coming up too, and they should be good ones. So if you're interested in pens and ink, this is a good time to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on them in the future. And that's it. Stay safe out there, everyone, and enjoy your pens and ink.